and I know this is still true of today's audience I'm hoping this series will actually introduce Laurel Hardy to a new generation Hey guys, welcome along to Movie Review Classics. I'm your host Rodney Stewart and we're going to continue on with the Laurel and Hardy Marathon of reviews we're going to be doing on Mondays here for goodness knows how long. So this film was From Soup to Nuts. Now, if you've seen the last video I did in this review series for Laurel and Hardy, I jumped to Oxford. From Soup to Nuts was actually taken and rewritten and reshot and eventually ended up in the first 20 minutes of a jump to Oxford. Uh, from Soup to Nuts was done in 1928 and a jump to Oxford, if I recall right, was 1940. Let me just check the cover, check those dates. Yeah, so a film was done in 1928, reshot, rewritten, reshot, re filmed the whole works for 1940 and oh, just fantastic to actually go back and for the first time personally enjoy an Aaron Hardy silent comedy. Now, I said in the opening video to this series, I was always a big fan of Laurel and Hardy. If they ever come on TV, I've sat there and watched them, but in all honesty, I have to say, and I know this is still true of today's audience, I'm hoping this series will actually introduce Laurel and Hardy to a new generation. But just like the J today's generation, I'm sure, is going to have problems going back and watching these old black and white films. Because they're so used to the the heavy special effects CGI ridden films of today. Um, that was also true of me whenever I was a kid because I liked the Laurel and Hardy films. I loved the Laurel and Hardy films, but I did have a lot of problems being interested in watching the silent comedies because I was just so used to, you know, the talkies, let's just say. <laughs> just the thought of sitting through a film where there's no speaking was just, ah, oh, just didn't appeal to me. And the slightest, so, in all fairness, I can safely say, you know, I've seen some of the shorts, I haven't watched all of them, I haven't seen all of them from start to end, so a lot of the stuff in this box set is going to be new to me as well. But, uh, yeah, the comedy in this is just fantastic. You know, you know the style of old black and white silent films, it's all music, and uh, if any speaking, happens in the film at all. You see the, the words, the mouth going, don't hear anything, apart from the music, and then it cuts to like uh, the writing on the screen of what the person had just said. But that only happened a few times throughout this short. Like the film's only what, 25 to 30 minutes long, if even that. And it was, I think there was only like three, maybe four different times throughout the film they actually had a go and uh, actually tell you what the character just said because you know the, the physical acting of everybody in this film was just so good that you know times when they were speaking to each other you did not need the distraction of actually having to read what they were saying absolutely fantastic like that type of acting is just, just I don't know it just doesn't seem to exist these days just like so many films these days really re rely on being flipping spoon fed to the audience and I'm just like oh, Laurel and Hardy didn't even really need that back in the day and that just was something so beautiful about their films but uh, yeah just seeing the difference between From Soup to Nuts and the rewritten version that ended up in a chump to Oxford was just oh, fantastic and as I say it was rewritten and reshot it wasn't a shot for shot version of a Soup to Nuts that ended up in I jumped to Oxford, there was a lot of stuff changed, a lot of stuff was different in there and it was just great to see the bits and pieces in there that were so familiar to me loving I jumped to Oxford as much as I do and just all the stuff in there was just like, oh, flipping gold man and you know the old joke of the slipping on the banana skin was in there too and that happened a few times to Ollie and Oh, just pricelessly done and oh, it, just some of the stunts that man did throughout his career I don't know how the heck he didn't end up 
really really hurt in some of the stuff I did because there was a few falls I took in this film that were absolutely so painful looking and uh, yeah but one thing I would say about Laurel and Hardy and this 1928 version compared to I jumped to Oxford in 1940 and most of the films in between there Ollie was always the arrogant one of the two of them pompous and arrogant and uh, always coming off the worst because of something someone else did and he ended up getting the backlash of it that was still kind of true back in this early one but there was more of a clumsiness to Ollie I think in this earlier one and Stan, at the same time, he was always, and the, the talkies, was uh, incredibly stupid and clumsy. And uh, there wasn't as much as that, I felt, of Stan in this, this earlier one. I think the, the clumsiness factor between Laurel and Hardy in this early film was pretty much at the same level. And uh, Stan was a little bit more assertive in parts of this film than like I've been used to in later ones and uh, uh, I'm starting to digress and just uh, it's a beautiful man it is a beautiful little film and I can't wait to get into some of the other silent comedies as I say I was never really interested in seeing them before but this has really ignited a real interest in me now to actually get back and see some of the earliest stuff they did and uh, yeah from a film making perspective it's just oh I don't know if you're into film making at all I definitely think you should sit down take some time and watch the entire entire Laurel and Hardy collection because it is from a film making perspective it's just it's very interesting and educational to see how these films are put together so for rock and roll written I'm going to give this little film oh gosh I'm kind of slipping between a good and a great because, as I said, I, I never was really interested as a kid in the silent comedies. But I think that is swaying my vote slightly. But I'm going to have to be honest here. And guys, I'm going to give it a great. It is a great little film. And if you sit down and watch this here, you're not going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm.